In the vast sky above, the roar of jet engines pierces through the clouds at staggering speeds. Since World War II, jet engines have become a symbol of aviation progress, fast, powerful, and futuristic. But if jet engines are so powerful, the question is simple. Why don't all aircraft in the world use jet engines? To answer that, we must start from the basics. There are three main types of aircraft engines. Jet engines, turboprops, and piston engines. Jet engines specifically, turbojets and turbofans, are used in fighter jets and large commercial aircraft like Boeing and Airbus. These engines work by sucking in air, compressing it, mixing it with fuel, and igniting the mixture to create thrust. Turboprops, on the other hand, are small jet engines that drive propellers highly efficient at low to medium speeds. Piston engines, much like those found in cars, are used in light and small aircraft. Jet engines are unmatched in one key area, speed, at altitudes above 30,000 feet, where the air is thin and resistance is low. Jet engines can propel aircraft at over 900 kilometers per hour, an ideal speed for long-range commercial flights and high-performance military jets. But this speed comes at a high cost. Fuel consumption increases drastically when flying below optimal cruising speeds. Jet engines are also complex and expensive to maintain. In other words, Jet engines are not always the best solution for every kind of flight. Turboprop engines, on the other hand, offer remarkable efficiency at lower altitudes and moderate speeds. Though they may look outdated, these engines are the backbone of regional and utility aviation. Aircraft like the ATR-72 or the Cessna Grand Caravan use turboprops not because they need to be fast, but because they need to be efficient, durable, and able to land on short runways. Turboprops are also significantly more fuel efficient, up to 30% more economical than jets on flights under 1,000 kilometers. That's why airlines like Wings Air, Air Neogeny, and Alaska Airlines continue to rely on turboprops for short, challenging routes. The world is not made up entirely of large, modern airports. In remote regions such as Papua, the Amazon, and Alaska, runways may be nothing more than dirt or gravel. Propeller aircraft are capable of taking off and landing in very short distances, a feature known as stall, short takeoff, and landing. Jet engines can't do that. They require long runways, high pressure, and optimal cruising speeds, conditions that are hard to meet in short hop flights. So it's no surprise that humanitarian missions, military logistics, and medical evacuations still rely on propeller-driven aircraft. Sometimes, the best technology isn't the fastest, but the most suitable. In the real world, engines are chosen based on purpose. Boeing 777 a powerful jet engine for long-haul flights up to 14,000 kilometers. ATR-72, a propeller aircraft for 500-kilometer hops between small cities. The U.S. Navy's P-3 Orion, still flying with turboprops for long maritime patrols at low speeds. Jet engines are indeed majestic, but technology isn't created to impress. Aviation teaches us a fundamental truth. The most efficient solution is often the most powerful one. Sometimes, a humble propeller saves more lives than the fastest jet ever could. So the next time you see a small aircraft flying low with its loud, spinning propellers, don't underestimate it. Behind its simplicity lies a kind of efficiency that keeps it relevant, even in the supersonic age. Thank you.